well, March 25th, uh, 2023. Look at this. Canal Creek Road and Sierra Way. They've opened the road. Let's go. Here we go. We're just going to do this just like this for now. I did do a video where I walked up, I walked past the road close sign up to here. Let's take a little drive. Here we go. Headquarters campground and it's closed. People have been asking about headquarters. It is definitely closed. Let's see if I can see anything interesting from the road here. In fact, you know what? I've got time back up. Time out, folks. All right, we're gonna take a walk off in here. And just because the road's closed, don't necessarily mean the area is closed. Headquarters. This is where I'm at. I've had a couple of different people ask about headquarters. Let's go see. We're gonna look here for obvious signs. Oh, somebody must be I wonder if that washed it down here or somebody left it here. How dirty is it? It's got spray in it. And it's kind of on the one's got something in it. I ain't touching it. Don't touch a lot of things like that. You never know. It might go boom. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay, so the water <laughs> was definitely up into here right here we have a propane tank which i bet you find a lot of those in the river in the lake what looks like used to be a pretty decent barbecue pit here's some sand friend you can come and get <laughs> Ooh, another sprayer There's the part of the grill. There's another grill. Wonder if somebody was like here when all of this started happening. And they, oh, there's the one of the park grills that ate it. This looks to me like somebody up and just left. It got bad and they had to pull out, leaving. Wow, there's chemicals here. Oh, I mean, just. Hmm. Hmm. What's with all the chemicals? Yeah, I'm getting away from it. I ain't gonna touch it. Wow, that's a campground pit that ate it. Yeah, there's a lot of sand in places it shouldn't be. And uh, it's totally missing in places that it should be. Oh, wow, look at this. Tables all piled up. This is going to be a lengthy video. I hope you all enjoy these enough to watch the whole thing. The river splits right there. Let's zoom in a little. There's a split in the river right there. You can see it running here and then on the other side of it. There's a little island here, and all rocks. There's, if I'm not mistaken, there used to be a lot of sand there. Is that the remnants of a bear box down there? Yep, there's a bear box laying on its side that's been wiped out. A yurt that, well, it's still there. I wonder if any of them moved. I mean, this one, I'm sorry about that, folks. Uh, this one, it moved and didn't float away. Wow, look at that. Another bear box over there that's mangled. Road work here that needs to be done.
Okay, well, now, I think I'd say it's... Headquarters took a beating. Headquarters took a beating. Cleanup work has begun, like at Frandy, which if you watch the other videos, you'll see the video it's just before this one, actually. The Frandy and the cleanup the work they're doing. And the fact that they're charging them $70 a load to dump debris that washed down from the river. $70 a load to dump. There's a dust pan over there. $70 a load. That, uh, that dump is free. It's always been free. Why are they charging them $70 a load to get rid of... Almost walked right into that. $70 a load to get rid of stuff that washed down. Wow, there's not a single site here that isn't damaged. There's more road up there. I'm not going to continue to walk on up. I'm, this is going to be the end of it here, in here for me. Look at this. See, this whole campsite. The, the, this whole campsite needs to be rebuilt. There's a, a bear box. Another bear box. This is undermined over there. You can, I'm not going to step on it. I don't want to fall. No feet at all. But yeah, this whole area, it has to be. This whole thing has to go and be replaced. Open. <laughs> yeah, it's open, all right. Not. Campground is, for obvious reasons, closed. Look at how much sand piled up here in an area that would have normally been a lot down there. I wonder. You know, Frandy could help out the campground, come up here and take some scoops of sand away. Wow. Take some sand away for them and put it back down to make their beaches. Boy, it sure ate just right underneath that thing, didn't it? <laughs> A little natural fire going on there, I mean. It's... Wow. There must have been something right here that it ate under. Like a bear, it did on that bear box, ate under it till it finally washed it away. Something's been through here, besides me. Footprints. We're going that way. Oh, another yurt. Let's go up by there. Not following this sand hole though. Oh yeah, more prints. Look at this. More critter prints. Those aren't too old. They're not too fresh, but they're not too old. We've had enough wind that if these were of any age at all, eh, that one's interesting. These would all be covered up. There's a bird, I guess. Oh, yeah, probably a bird. It's more than likely a canine right there, like a coyote or something. Oh, speaking of coyotes, I'm just a block. I just live a block away from uh, Lake Isabella. And prior to all this, you could hear the coyotes down in the dry lake. You know, just a whooping and a hollering, all kinds of them. I wonder where they all went. Because they, they can't be in the, where they were using as homes down there in the lake. It's now a lake. Wow, there's a lot of sand right here, boy. The way it, it feels like I'm walking on the beach, actually. Look at this way. It sure ripped a current right down through there. That pipe's probably three million years old. Here it took a pounding. This one over here. It's like it might still be in good shape. Look, see, like anywhere anything was like really nailed down like these bear boxes were, created an undercurrent underneath them and just washed them out. 
Kern River is so dangerous, even at its lowest, I refuse to swim in it. You know what, let's go see what kind of chemicals are actually laying over here. Again, not going to touch them. Hmm. Well, since I bent over to pick it up and it's trash, I'll take it with me. It's actually, short of picking up the chemicals, I ain't picking up no chemicals. But short of picking up the chemicals, this would be a good place to come with a trash bag, assist in some cleanup. Look at this, here's one of them puppy dog stake downs. You know what, this might have been the, the campground host, because they do have one of those here, right? Or did have. Hmm. What kind of chemicals do we have here? Deodorizer, two-in-one cleaner, and Pure Bright. Hmm. All sound like things that might have been used to uh, clean the restrooms here, something a uh, uh, campground host would do. Okay, those, I know what those are. Those are bags to hold down uh, uh, an easy up. Where'd the easy up go? More chemicals. First one to be through here. I see other footprints. At least right in there. The only footprints I saw up in there were critters. Yeah, this one looks like it fared pretty well. I see some what appears to be water damage on the bottom there. But this one and up in here. Now I'm back down through there. It looks like it might have survived a bit. Again, I don't want to walk around the corner. It appears it went further. If you know this campground, then there it is. All right. Uh, man, wow, 12 minutes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video.